Welcome back to Vlogmas. It is December 7th, 2023, and uh, my baby girl turns 11 months old today. Adam and I did uh, like dual drop off today, just so I could kind of show him the lay of the land and what to do to drop her off. Um, and I don't know if because we were both there what changed, but she did cry today. Um, as soon as I closed the door and she saw that we had left because she watched us walk out the door after we said goodbye, she did cry. And I literally everything in my body wanted to just go back in um, and just told her and say, it's okay. And mom and dad are going to be back soon. But you know, that doesn't necessarily help that transition. Um, so I'm hoping that she was able to find a distraction and some friends. Um, but the caretakers that are there are really lovely and I know that she'll be okay and I know that she will figure it out because we come back and she's only going to be there for three hours so I just need to kind of busy myself before I go get her. Likely she will be fine and busy and having a great time when I go pick her up but I did leave with tears in my eyes because yeah it's weird it's like it's like a physical like my body's just like I don't even know how to explain it. Anyways, um, I am going to finish my coffee and then probably go sit down at a coffee shop and get another coffee. Not that I need it, but um, I just want to try and organize myself and the next couple weeks a little bit. Figure out what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. Hope you're all having a great day and uh, we'll see where the day takes us. Okay, I feel like most of our vlog videos are going to be from her room because we spend a lot of time in here uh, but I just picked her up um, from daycare but while she was there I had a semi-productive morning I took myself to a coffee shop and sat down and I started to organize some ideas for blog posts one thing I do want to do going into the new year and coming out of my maternity leave is focus a little bit more on my blog I meant to put a lot of time into it over maternity leave and like I mentioned before I definitely overestimated how much time I'd actually have. The transition from no kids to one kid was a lot um, in terms of managing my time and figuring out how to do that and I'm only just kind of figuring that out now. I feel like I'm really late to the game on that front but you know what the first year is all about getting to know her and um spending that time together so on one hand I'm like I feel like I'm so behind but on the other hand I'm like I just what else was I supposed to do maternity leave is to be a mom and that's what I did so anyways um yeah I want to put more time and energy into that space so started to make a little bit of a plan um, after my blog post yesterday, I think I have an idea of what I want to do next week. So I would like to go back to posting every week. And that's what I did when I first started back in like 2016. I don't know when it was. I and also wanted to monetize that space. Right now I use WordPress, um, a dot com. Um, but I wanted to switch everything over to a dot org so that I could like host it and run ads on it so that it could potentially be something that I can um, make a little bit of money off of just from readership but um, I haven't done that yet so for now the only potential income that I have is if I do have like a brand partnership which is far and few between at this point because most of the brand partnerships I've ever had um, from tall companies have all just been gifted product uh, which doesn't pay the bills uh, so between that and affiliate links um, that's the only way that I can monetize that space at the moment so we'll see how that goes but I would at least like to be regular in that space so anyways ramble 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 I did not make a plan for the rest of the day um, initially I was going to shoot her little Christmas outfit because I have an idea to make a Christmas sweater we've been doing sweaters for uh, her dad for every holiday well two holidays we did a an Easter one and a Halloween one I made myself a Halloween one too because I couldn't decide which photo I wanted to use. So I've got an idea for the Christmas one. I just have to shoot a photo and do a little editing magic, which I've been having fun with with these photos. But um, 
it's kind of gray out so there's not a lot of light to take a picture we're very limited with the natural light that we get um i get really great natural light kind of right here in her window um but i don't know if that'll be what i want for the photo so anyways we might push that to tomorrow but i think maybe we should go get some fresh air she's probably due for a nap soon but if i put her in the carrier she might just fall asleep when we go for a little walk i want to go check out a baby secondhand spot um because i think she does need daycare slippers so i want to see if they have any there first before i get anything new and anything else maybe some christmas jammies if they haven't been snagged We just got back from quite possibly the one of the loveliest walks we've had in a while. I mean, we haven't gone for many walks this week um, just because of daycare and whatnot. And when we've been coming home from daycare, we've kind of just been hanging out at home, um, aside from like groceries and stuff. We ran into a friend of mine from years ago. We used to do fashion shows together. Um, that's how I initially met her. And uh, she has a dog grooming business in the area, which I didn't even realize. I did not realize that we were in the same community. And it makes me feel, I mean, very out of touch. Because I just, I just haven't been paying attention, I guess. I've been so in my own world. But it was so lovely to see her and um, for her to meet my little one. Um, and then we went and I'll, I'm going to do a little haul. I initially went to this um, pre-loved baby store so that I could potentially see if they had little daycare slippers or some sort of slipper for her to wear at daycare but they did not at this time not in her size um, but I did get a couple other things somebody's a little tired I thought she was gonna fall asleep on her walk um, but she did not so she's a little sleepy but um, so we went and did some secondhand shopping and uh, and then afterwards I had passed by this donut shop and I wasn't sure if it was open and so when I was walking by I saw that they had an open sign in. I've never seen this shop before and I was like maybe I just haven't been on this side of Queen Street. Um, but there is a brand new donut shop, uh, Queen West area, and it's called Mavericks Donut Company. They literally just opened today so we got lucky. I went in and I was just like, mm, I could have a donut. Um, I feel like today I've only been eating treats. Anyways, so I went in and I spoke with the couple um, that owns the donut shop for a little while because they were very interested. They saw my baby in her carrier and they were asking questions about it because they just had a baby six weeks ago. Uh, so we were chatting about parenthood and all that kind of stuff. But it's a brand new donut shop called Mavericks Donut Company owned by, I think, Fab and Rima, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, brand new parents, brand new donut shop owners. Uh, so I grabbed a couple uh, and then they sent me home with a couple little minis to taste. Um, so yeah, that was really cool to stop and chat with them and meet them. And uh, I'm excited to try the donuts. I grabbed an apple fritter and then I also grabbed a um, I think it said caramel gingerbread and then we've got a couple little minis to try so I'll have to make sure I save some of these for Adam little holiday like Timbit kind of mm. that is so pleasing who's ready for some show and tell I had to eat another little donut. Turns out baby girl uh, is not ready to sleep. She just wanted a little top up uh, from in the milk department and she's ready to go again, apparently. Uh, anyways, so went in for slippers. I did not get slippers. At first I started looking at the holiday things cause I was like, mm, we could use a few more holiday outfits. Um, <laughs> oh, this is out. Uh, H&M sweater so freaking cute and then this little old navy dress are you kidding me i have to get her some red tights or white tights because right now she only has black ones um and i feel like she needs some but anyways so cute i haven't got her very many dresses i find dresses to be a little pointless for babies but i mean it is cute to put them in some i'm just putting these straight into the laundry basket um Especially now that she's like crawling and she's trying to get everywhere. Dresses, she kind of like, they just get in her way when she's trying to crawl. Next is this, what I assume are pajamas. But it says, little wild one, 
pretty basic. I don't get a lot of stuff with like writing on it, but it came with pants and it was literally only $5 for the two of them um, together. So anyways, these, that little set. Also everything I'm getting, I'm getting at like 18 months or bigger, usually 18 months or two years, because if I get anything that's like 12 months or nine to 12 months, she will literally wear it for like a week and then that's it. And we're not about that. Um, next I got her just these little tights. They have cats and dogs on them. Ah, her favorite thing in the world. And I was like, I can't leave these. Um, so little tights. Uh, and then these little pantaloons, nice basic. She has one pair in this color, but I feel like she's almost up from them. So this is like, a, she can wear these obviously right now. Um, she'll be able to wear these for the next couple months. Uh, and then my favorite piece that I just got, um, this little H&M sweater. Uh, I want this in my size. This is actually a three, like toddler size three but like put this on, roll up the sleeves and it'll just be like a little oversized. Oh, it's so freaking cute. Hello, H&M, can I have one? Anyways, that's my little haul from Kit Pre-Loved on Queen West. Just us girlies for the night, again. Uh, it's actually Adam's, I can't remember if I said it earlier, Adam's, um, work Christmas party. Uh, he came home, hung out with us with us for a while, um, and, and then headed out. Um, and I put baby girl down to sleep. Uh, she actually fell asleep while she was eating and totally skipped dinner, like breastfeeding. Um, completely skipped dinner, dinner, and bath and our normal routine. Passed right out at like six. Uh, so I put her down. I've gone in once already because she woke up briefly but she woke up so I took off her sweater and put her in pajamas and now she's sleeping again so hopefully she gets a good couple hours it's a little after seven it's 7 20 so it'd be nice if she slept for like three ish hours um also I demolished that apple fritter that I got earlier um so good uh, I was lucky enough that Adam only wanted to split the caramel gingerbread um, donut that I got, uh, which was also so good. I was going to do like a taste test uh, and then we just ate it. It was so good. Um, so no time to share, but I'm telling you now. I was going to close out the vlog after I put her down the first time and then see if I could edit it a little bit earlier than I have been. That way I can go to bed a little bit earlier. But then I left this. Um, my secondary phone is what I'm using right now because it's quick and easy. I still have CapCut on this phone, so that's what I'm editing my vlogs in. Like, literally nothing fancy. Um, but I left it in her room, so I didn't want a chance waking her up. So this time I went in, put her back down, cha changed her, put her back down, and grabbed this one. So we could close it out and then do a little edit, edit and, uh, and then call it a night. So we'll see how that goes. And, uh... Maybe I can get some extra rest. I don't know what's going on tomorrow. My initial plans for tomorrow um, were canceled or postponed, so we'll drop her off at daycare for a couple hours again, and then maybe go Christmas shopping? I don't know. We want to go check out The Well, which is a new shopping center that opened up downtown. It's not finished finished, but there's quite a few places that have already opened, and it looks beautiful. So I also feel like I have to plan an outfit so I can like shoot an outfit there for my Instagram page but I don't know we'll see what happens we'll see what comes um, but for now I'm gonna just chillax hope you guys are having a wonderful day night whatever time it is for you thank you so much for watching and being here and hanging out with us um, and I hope to see you guys in my next one hit the subscribe button we'll see you tomorrow Bye. I said goodnight to you guys. She woke back up, so. This is just like a bottle in a movie.
kind of night, I think.